a lot of intensity, a lot of revelation of truth, ugly truth. Hey everybody, this is a short video from the, one of the main plazas in Belgrade. Find the inspiration to share with you some of my thoughts about the upcoming full moon in Aries, coming 17th of October 2024. This is a very intense time. Pluto just stationed 24 hours ago and it's still stationing until it will start to move a little bit exactly with the full moon of Aries that is also anciently ruled by Mars and Mars is opposing Pluto. A lot of intensity, a lot of revelation of truth, ugly truth and criminals as we are already hearing in the United States about different stories about sexual abuse and this is nothing yet until we see more bankruptcies, corruption, money laundering and it's already happening with some banks, it's going to happen more and this is about the financial crisis that Pluto is ruling, death, debt, corruption, the money and this is the last degrees of Capricorn what led to so many slaves to feel successful in buying apartments, real estate and taking more burden on their back. We are just about to shake down a lot of things from us. Sometimes it's happening naturally because of Milton Hurricane, because of Helen Hurricane and other things. And stop blaming someone that is manipulating the weather. You, it's not high intelligence to say this because it's predicted already years ago in astrology that this is what is happening. The earth is a living being, is moving and it's changing. Even if it's not moving, if it's a flat earth, the, the pole shifts is changing the weather as the season. So it's happening whether by war, whether by climate change, and we are going now to full-blown war changes. That's why I said, and many others followed, 2025 is a chaos, and it's more fronts of a war. This is a lot to see like very disaster news, but as we know, most of the things that are happening uh, even they are bad years after we could see that we're happening for a good plan so we are going to face here a big earthquake in metaphorical way and i hope that uh, you know no one is prepared honestly uh, even that you will read many news or i will tell you it's going to be chaotic no one is prepared the preparation is what the messages of the eclipses i told and i'm sharing other shares uh, the great divorce so-called that was about to get rid from abusive relationships not just with strangers you know the hardest one is divorce from your family divorce from a place that you worked for 20 30 years divorce from your country that you born there those are all those contracts that we are breaking are very painful this is a rebirth process and this is what the eclipses of libra and we are still in libra season are speaking about now it's about having a lot of power of Aries, which is the opposite of Libra. Aries is the ruler ruled by Mars, and it's the opposite of Libra. But if you are following my videos from past months, I say that from September to November, almost November, Venus and Mars are in falling position. So the divine masculine and feminine are not in good shape. And so symbolically that it's also related with the big competition we are having in the United States now, feminine and masculine, Kamala and Trump, and I don't know how much testosterone each one of them have, but this is the case now that Mars, the ruler of testosterone, of immune system, of strength, is opposing Pluto. Mars is also the ruler of the DNA. Your DNA is your identity, not what your parents or what your friends or what are expecting you to become. Come back to be your own true self. And many of those lies that we were accepting are going to be fronted by different crises. And this is another theme to embrace. I'm saying it very general. This is messages for the advance of you that are already having the background of astrology. Because in that position of Mars that is about to retrograde in, in, back to Cancer, 
it's about a weakness of the immune system, not just of people body, because of whatever they injected to themselves or because of what they are going to inject or what they are going to be exposed. It's also about the injection and the immunity of countries. And this is speaking about immigration. And immigration is going to be, somebody said me hello, you know me? Yeah. So it's not about uh, uh, just migration because people will find new home. It's about people to find uh, alternatives and peaceful places uh, because of what is going to explode. We're already seeing a, a lot of people migrating from their place. Because this full moon is coming with Chiron nearby and Aries, asteroid Aries, it's about chaos time. It's about your ability to break the rules almost like in 2020 after the lockdown that family broke and you needed to invent yourself this is a time of invention on the same time and on top of all this we are going to get a crazy parabolic push for technology and advancement just elon musk showed us a little hint about the robots and how we are going to interact with technology better than humans and this is what uh, many are speaking, including Yuval Harari, for years now that robots are going to control people because we are giving them and we are going into this direction. It's a warning, but it's nothing to be warned about. It's about to embrace it and work it to your favor. We are all feeling this tension. I feel a lot of tension. Uh, also my love path. I, you know, we are all in a pivotal time. This is. Pluto in Capricorn still until the middle of November after the election. It's a lot, but at least now it's moving direct. But it's about the winner card. How you are going to be now on the winning zone by making a very, very heavy, responsible decision to maintain your freedom and liberty, maintain your rights. It's an energy that is telling a lot of people to come out from the closet, but not just telling your, yourself you are gay. This is so many other things about yourself that you need to accept yourself. This is the Aries, it's about your identity. If you are not going to embrace who you are and what is good for you, no one will going to respect you. If you don't know what is good for you, or if you are not protecting yourself, what is good for you and how you want people to respect you, it's not about trying to make peace regardless whatever works. It's time to defend your rights and sometimes to say, where is the red line? But the interesting thing is that it's going, no one is going to skip this. This is a thing that we all will need to face in our personal life, in our economy, uh, countries, uh, the macro. This is a big theme. It, Pluto is just moving direct now, it's like, the theme under the surface are coming and it's going to be very full blown, full blown. And who knows what virant, this is, we're just entering to a fall. This is the mutation timing of a different thing. You know, we need to take care of ourselves. The markets are going to do here a big shift and it's going to take a lot of people down. Uh, those that are just trying to maintain on the horizontal, just just step by step those exactly that are going to fall down this is the last degree of pluto in capricorn take the greatest feet the greatest peak the greatest risk that you could take on yourself and i think that big companies already did it and doing it so we always like the rich are on the top of the theme but this is a message also for those that are waiting for a better time doing something this is the time all the best, my friend. Hopefully it inspires someone of you.